I'm an outlier, ladies and gents. I wasn't one of Stan's students. Um, <laughs> had, to be, had to happen sooner or later, I guess. Uh, and I was also an outlier in that this talk was originally submitted actually on time as an abstract when I wasn't aware that the, the, uh, of the nature of the session. And it was a paper that was going to be written on the work that I'd done with names with my colleague uh, James Cheshire at, uh, um, at UCL. But... Um, the title sort of adds a suffix put on it, uh, what's in a name, the future of geocomputation. So uh, we'll, um, it, we'll, see, it, we'll see how we get on. Um, uh, I first met Stan, uh, first encountered Stan, meeting wouldn't be the right word, I suppose, at the uh, second academic conference I ever went to at the uh, Institute of British Geographers annual conference in Southampton in uh, 1981, if any sort of uh, alumni uh, remember it. It was a year it snowed and everyone sort of really got snowed in. And um, uh, there was an applied statistics session uh, in quantitative methods of which uh, Fred Smith, quite an, uh, an eminent uh, statistician at the University of Southampton, gave a talk, followed by Stan uh, wearing um, a bomber jacket. Do you remember bomber jackets? Uh, and the end of the talk, really, um, Fred Smith said, well, you know, you're not measuring anything. And Stan said, yes, I am. And Fred said, no, you're not. Stan said, yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Your parents had no children. Yes, they did. And so uh, it sort of, sort of went on like that. Uh, and uh, this was the first conference... This was yeah, 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 my first sort of experience as a yeah, sort of young graduate student. Uh, I thought, well, you're really going to have to toughen up in this life. Um, uh, but of course, you know, in the written word, in the written words, we all know Stan was sort of mildness itself, wasn't he? Um, you know, come the uh, science wars uh, of uh, the early 1990s, uh, the, uh, any sort of turn you know, appeared to be based on building up a range of conceptual theoretical arguments against GIS, expressing them in pseudo-philosophical uh, languages to provide a veneer of academic respectability, add a few misquotes from famous dead people who lived in a totally different world, and wait five years uh, for the reaction to go critical. Tell us what you really think, Stan. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, by that stage, we were all really sort of you know, walking on eggshells, and the Humpty Dumpty paper in the NPA was um, you know, sort of really uh, something of a clarion call for uh, the academic uh, GIS community. And it was on that community that in the uh, sort of mid-1990s, uh, yeah, with Steve, uh, um, uh, Ian Turton, um, uh, Andy and so forth, Stan uh, coined the term uh, geocomputation. Um, and um, so basically this talk is perhaps more of a sort of prospective view. You know, it's the end of, uh, to some extent, my Stan um, the anecdotes. Um, but uh, in the remaining time, before Manfred nooses me, um, I just wanted to give a few sort of prospective views of how I think uh, geocomputer, what geocomputation has achieved. Uh, and to look prospectively to the future. I think we can say, you know, sort of over the last you know, sort of 15, uh, 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 15 or so years, uh, the achievements really sort of bo uh, boil down to um, uh, vastly improved cross-sectional analysis, describing the repeated analysis and simulation of spatial distributions uh, for uh, exploration uh, and for inference. And then the second main theme, I think we can you know, sort of perhaps sort of refer to uh, the work Peter Atkinson's done, for example, at uh, Southampton, amongst others, uh, is that um, uh, uh, geocomputation is fundamentally about dynamics, the simulation of processes um, uh, uh, operating in the uh, 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 geographic domain. And that as time has gone by, we've seen fewer idealised curves, Sierpinski gaskets, polar functions masquerading as clouds, sine waves masquerading as landscapes. Uh, towards actually, so a, a geocomputation has become geo. It's become fundamentally about the third rock from the sun, the, uh, the, the laboratory for uh, investigation uh, uh, that is the real world. And this slide could easily have been taken from the work of Alison Hackenstahl or um, the uh, sort of other co uh, colleagues from Leeds, but it's from Kirill Stanilov's work about the, uh, the growth of real city, uh, the growth of West London. All of this has happened against um, changing practices in science. And here, I sort of, yeah, 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 uh, sort of defer to a chapter that Mike uh, Goodchild and I wrote for, um, uh, uh, on a section on geocomputation for a, a major work that Manfred Fischer's uh, editing with Peter Nijkamp. 
Um, uh, 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 and so geocomputation has developed against the background as anticipated by Stan of uh, computing our way out of the data swamp. I think we've uh, we still not done that yet. Uh, improved interdisciplinary collaboration. Um, uh, the adaptation of novel data sources uh, and less talk about eliminating error and more about um, taking on board and accommodating the inherent vagaries and uncertainties that govern building representations of the, uh, of the world. So in, um, uh, in the remaining time I just wanted to sort of focus on uh, three uh, issues in terms of looking prospectively about the future of, of uh, uh, geocomputation, which are uh, these three. Uh, the first is the innovation of GPUs on the desktop, the uh, movement of uh, uh, the kinds of com uh, intensive computing that uh, uh, Chris and Martin described to the cloud and the development of uh, cyber infrastructure. And uh, the move to a vision of uh, a distributed infrastructure that can support collaboration uh, between uh, uh, disciplines, an environment in which, uh, which we're looking at um, increasingly complex questions in an interdisciplinary context. We're investing in high performance computing in massive, uh, massively parallel infrastructures. Uh, and uh, uh, the GIS community is giving some sort of uh, uh, some attention to uh, the innovation of novel ways of partitioning space um, across uh, across processes. At the uh, desktop level, uh, th this scales down to general purpose uh, GPUs and these kinds of sort of innovations, if you like. This is the work of Mohammed Adnan at uh, yeah, yeah, UCL. Uh, which in many ways is a, uh, a realisation of the geodemographics approach that uh, yeah, Stan um, uh, pioneered in the uh, uh, late 1980s and 1990s, of which the specification, the estimation, the testing uh, of summary measures of uh, spatial distributions uh, is, uh, is becoming automated in ways that are robust, uh, uh, defensible, uh, and uh, open to scrutiny. The changing colours on this slide are... Uh, 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 the uh, numerical instabilities of the uh, clustering routine. A little bit glib, geocomputation and social context, the social context of uh, yeah, geocomputation. Uh, I think you're sort of, if you take, take all of the, the presentations so far, if any of us had a sort of desert island disk analogy, you had, to sort of, you had 10 texts uh, that you could take to a desert island and have to give you know, sort of a year's course on geocomputation. Uh, the classic cat mog on the modified aerial unit problem circa nine, in 1984 uh, would certainly be amongst uh, everyone's top uh, 10. Um, however, I think as time has gone by, there is increasing realisation that uh, um, uh, it's not just failure of analytic method, but it's failure to be explicit about the geo, the real world, the scale at which hypothesised effects uh, occur. So to go to the Iowa correlation between uh, the probability of voting Republican and age, is that an individual effect whereby as you get old and your arteries harden you tend to vote uh, Republican, or is it ecological? Is it the smell of death in your neighbourhood or you know, the, sort of, uh, the waft of senility, uh, which has some kind of, uh, 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 some kind of effect upon that uh, process? Um, uh, and, uh, and so uh, those sorts of analytical issues uh, uh, suggest uh, a need for greater awareness, uh, uh, greater awareness of context. My other favourite stand quote, the nature of geography a la Hartzer, when I suppose, and the nature of geographic data. This is one of the other uh, yeah, yeah, famous quotes, you know, sort of how the geographer could analyse river networks on Mars on Monday, cancer in Bristol, Tuesday, etc., etc. Of course, we all know, I mean, you know, we all know people working in our discipline who come sort of Friday lunchtime would still be, you know, sort of uh, uh, wondering whether the rivers on Mars wanted to be analysed and, you know, sort of how they actually <laughs> felt about it. I mean, I think there's always something of an urgency to, uh, to Stan's work that is um, very often... Uh, very often lacking, but um, uh, yeah, but uh, again, this is curious how the same slides come up. This is the longest runner in uh, the book that uh, Mike, David McGuire, and, uh, and David Ryan and I you know, sort of co-author. Um, uh, the analytical work on leukemia, child leukemia clusters is 
uh, yeah, uh, yeah, of clear importance in analytical terms, um, what we're beginning to understand is more about context. And so this, uh, yeah, I'm aware this is, only, uh, uh, this is being videoed, it's only an extract of some work that's in uh, process, but, uh, uh, but it's looking at the work of the Oxford Genetics Group on clustering the human genome and actually looking at the differences in DNA through very carefully constructed samples uh, between different areas of the UK, uh, which uh, have uh, profound implications, I think, for our understanding of uh, health and healthcare policy. <laughs> I really sort of skipped through uh, yeah, 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 the third this neo, neo geography and so forth. This is a slide that Alex Singleton you know, sort of prepared for me. 1951, Chef Kibel, this was all there was when we, uh, when we got bored. We'd have a world war, happy but poor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the census was it, it, it summarised very much um, what our human identity was about. These kinds of slides you know, sort of, that we now see you know, sort of about you know, sort of clustering and uh, virtual media. Um, look glitzy, but the level of geographic resolution is actually very poor, uh, and very often the sampling basis um, uh, 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 upon which they are founded is very weak. And so, if you, yeah, yeah, I mean, having to, yeah, taken a few cheap shots uh, to, I don't know, the sort of cultural turn in geography, uh, you know, sort of you talk about somebody who, I don't know, for their dissertation interviews, three of their friends, you know, sort of writes a story about it and then photographs various bits of their body parts and sends it into <laughs> transactions of the Institute of British Geographers. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. How would you feel against that? You know, we've got a nice inverse power law, funny how that always comes up. Doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit terribly well, but if you actually look at the sampling basis, it's based on 1,297 uh, Facebook users out of 100,000. 100, what are the sources and operation of bias there? We've got to be clear about those, uh, yeah, yeah, those issues. And so geocomputation has become, as David, was, uh, David Ryan was saying in the introduction, it's got to become much more savvy about the issues of open data, data linkage, uh, and the linkage of data on the basis of anonymization uh, 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 rather than uh, consent. We've got to think much more about issues of spatial resolution and disclosure control, which in turn implies improving uh, the, uh, uh, the public understanding of science, something that Stan it was always at the forefront of through um, uh, doomsday and so on and so forth. The title of the uh, presentation was uh, What's in a Name? These are some sort of examples where I think, you know, sort of perhaps, you know, sort of names perhaps uh, provide some way, you know, the, uh, 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 some way forward. This is a slide from the uh, work of uh, David O'Sullivan, Pablo Matios, uh, yeah, and myself, which uh, cluster all of the names from, I don't know, 29 or so countries, you know, sort of worldwide. Um, and having produced a global cluster uh, of hundreds of millions of uh, uh, names classified according to cultural, ethnic, and linguistic groups, actually looks at you know, sort of how that can be used to identify where Japanese people, for example, live in London, you know, sort of at the individual level. Or going back to James's work, who was a, originally, of course, a co-author of this paper, uh, how do we partition Europe on the basis of uh, naming conventions? You take 16 countries, 400 million observations, 5.9 uh, uh, 5 million unique surnames and cluster them. So, conclusion. Um, Geocomputation is uh, an area of activity that's undergoing profound changes despite appearances. Many of, our, uh, many of our talks here, year on year, appear to be the same, but the backlog to that uh, uh, um, the analysis uh, is changing. And I think I'd argue you know, the, the experience looking at uh, AZP, MAUP and so forth has suggested that there are few purely technical solutions to substantial real world, uh, uh, real world problems. A lot of us hate the ontology work, but we do work. But we do need to think about issues of uh, representation and also the provenance of the data which we're actually using to build representations. And so, uh, and the final point then is that uh, uh, through geocomputation, um, uh, we offer the prospect through managing uncertainty rather than eliminating error uh, of um, uh, summarising the accumulated effects of historical and cultural processes upon uh, unique places. Thanks very much. Thank you.